spot. Final thing to point out here. You see this boundary. This is the front that's starting to move back off to the north and to the northwest, and that's going to bring in some additional Gulf moisture. We'll take the key down. There's the position of that front and the richer moisture will begin to move in. That's why a few more thunderstorms this evening cannot be ruled out. They've been more so prominent across sections of deep east Texas. It still has been a warm day today as we have been in the 80s throughout this afternoon, but now we monitor the storm threat that will pick up for everyone as we go through this evening. Let's look at future casts. It's handled things fairly well across sections of deep east Texas over the next few hours. Could some additional storms form there? There's very possible that that could happen because of the richer moisture. A couple of isolated storms as well working their way even as far north as Highway 31, Highway 80. The main action for rain and thunderstorms will become most likely in the overnight hours. You notice Futurecast really bringing in a lot more rainfall. It is going to be a wet com morning commute for many of us into tomorrow morning. The storm threat will continue until probably the early afternoon in deep east Texas and then we'll be left with a mostly to a mainly cloudy sky for tomorrow. Tomorrow promises to be a little bit cooler than what it was today. Temperatures tomorrow in the 60s, so overnight rain, some additional showers Wednesday night into Thursday, and then widespread rain again as we get toward Friday. And look at the clouds. They could even linger right on into the weekend. For Deep East Texas, rain will continue probably until the early afternoon, so that's why you have a higher rain chance for tomorrow. Thank you.